It's going. Yes, it's it's Mulder. It is Mulder. Is that Langley? Richard Langley? Uh, it's Mulder and Scully. Dr. Hamby told us you were in a simulation. <sighs> Mulder, it's like I designed heaven. I eat hot dogs and donuts all day long. No one here ever dies of cancer or Alzheimer's. And the Ramones are here, and they don't fight. And every night they get on stage and they play California Sun, and I circle the mosh pit like they do on the West Coast. Consensual sex without blame or judgment. Oh, and the New England Patriots are here, and they never, ever win. Ever. And I'm begging you, destroy it. We're living a lie here. It's a work camp where digital... Slave. Take our uploaded minds to develop science that only the elite will use to leave your world. We turn theories of space colonization into reality, reality for them. them. We dream, but we're not allowed to have dreams. dreams. Goals, nothing for ourselves. No choice, no diversity. There's a, there's a wall around this place. The stars are fake. The sunlight has no warmth. All the great minds that have died since they realized this place are here. Steve Jobs, Marvin Minsky, Michael Crichton. They all hated here. And they don't even know who they are. What, what we, we were in that, that life is completely opposite from what we are here. Go to the Long Lines building. Titan Point. Please, for all of us, shut this down. I wish they would kind of put some kind of end on the mythology, but there's got to be a way to extend a different kind of mythology, something different, something that doesn't have to be, they're not searching for alien life and not this. Well, and I still don't understand what the mythology is. We're going to wipe out life. Cigarette man wants to extinguish life. And, and then I think it, these other guys want to colonize space, space maybe. But, but he wants to wipe out life but still live here. But also, but also, so they want to colonize space, but, but Erica Price mm -hmm. is also helping run this project to back up everybody's brain to a, a server, like mm -hmm. a, a second life or a matrix that you can True. live in. But it's also being used to pursue space life. Uh, space, you uh, keep yeah. all of the greatest, like Langley talks right. about, you keep all of the greatest thinkers' uh, version of their consciousness in there, then yeah, you could pull from... Oh, that's fun. It's and a you little just make bit him like, do your work for you. As you said, like, there's no... Steve Jobs is in there. Let's ask him about iPhone ten. That thing sucks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, they're just basically... We do find that, like, all these people that have kind of had their brains mapped are mm -hmm. just basically at the disposal of this uh, this government think tank where they're just being used to uh, create new ideas for space exploration or space uh, colonization, but they don't get anything for themselves in this kind of second life. It's kind of like... Almost like a purgatory. Or almost like... He described it as heaven... For a while, there's no cancer, no cancer man. There's no um, the Ramones play all day. Every, the the New England Patriots are there, and they the, never the, ever win. We, yep, yep. Which is a reference to remember cigarette smoking man in season way back. He gave the directive that um, they would never ever lose. No, no, the something like that. There was something that it was a reference to him directly. I love the way they're throwing back these references. Back. Yeah, because they actually had an episode where people uploaded their. What? I don't there remember. was there was There's one something. where like it has a slightly happier ending. I remember from it was a much happier. Ending. Yeah, <laughs> not 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 that we will live in perpetuity being tortured. Like the end of the episode, they didn't get rid of it. They didn't solve it, solve the problem, and get rid of this after this electronic afterlife. It's they're still in there in perpetuity. Well, something's in there. I don't know if they're in there or is it like all the attributes of them are in there. Is it actually the the electronic impulses of their minds have been. What is inside this mainframe? What is right. it that we're watching? Yeah, it's true. Because when they are, the process is described, it was like the salient points of their brain. But it's so, not their consciousness. Not necessarily, but I, I 
I mean, I guess if you map enough of somebody's brain, you can develop at least algorithms that can kind of simulate how that person would think. Mm -hmm. This is this is essentially science that I don't know that we're supposed to think too much about because it's this is magic science. True, yeah. but the idea is that, that they, these people don't realize they're within a simulation, right? Uh, so they can live this kind of best life and never realize that uh, it is just uh, fake, unless you're like rare individual like Langley who can realize like, oh wait a minute, I don't trust these guys. I'm already uh, a conspiracy theorist at, at heart anyway. So well, it's I'm like not, he's it the guy him who, well. Yeah, yeah, and he's the guy who like the, you guys are familiar with simulation theory, right? <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Well, it's the idea, like, simulation theory is essentially the idea that if there is a possibility, which it's argued that there is, that we could one day create a version, like a, a computer simulation that we could put ourselves into that would be so detailed and so uh, so profoundly, like, so deep and rich <coughs> that it would be indistinguishable from our reality. And this theory posits that if there's a it's chance happened. we can do that, then not that it's already happened, that it absolutely must have already happened, and we are currently living in a simulation. Oof. Everything's real. However, <laughs> that would be super disappointing because this simulation is garbage. That's true. That's <laughs> This doesn't sound anywhere near as nice as the simulation Langley is in. But uh, this it sounds terrible. Yeah. It sounds no. It sounds at least at least he gets to go to a Ramon show every single day. He gets like he got, it's only it's. Only, I don't know what you live in. I like my simulation. I'm just telling you, this, no, I this admit, simulation I'm, is I, terrifying. I'm sorry, Jim. I got to side with Lex on this. I'm very disappointed in this simulation run. I'm looking for a restart on this. I think it's got a, it's got a glitch better. in it. I think yeah. for sure, like a profound system error, like fatal. Like we're blue screening right now. Yeah, I'm just waiting for them. It's like, hey, I played this version of the game as far as I can. It gets really depressing. I'm gonna just stop. Wait, are you talking over. about the X file simulation or us? Us. Oh, us. this simulation. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I, well, Jim's, go. Jim's in a good version. <laughs> This simulation's running sweet. You guys must have had a bad week. <laughs> <laughs> I had a bad week. But anyways, no, no, um, the thing was, but he described a simulation at towards the end as we can sort, we can have dreams, but we're not allowed to dream them. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, it's a hell. It's like they are just completely, they're slaves to, to they're just basically, they're mining their, their intelligence to try to colonized space is what it is, right? Is that what yeah, it is? It is space colonization because we do uh, play into that fact because we see Erica Price, Barbara Hershey's back, mm -hmm. and another nod to kind of continue in some of the threads of mythology. And we reference uh, Mr. Y by name. Great Jowly. Yeah, Great fantastic. Jowly. <laughs> or like uh, Tan Bannon. Yes, that's right. I uh, think was the, the comparison Lucretia drew last week. He was also in Molly's game. And, all, uh, and I always...